Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I am going to show you how to make the amazing marshmallows out of the THM cookbook. This is out of the first cookbook that they released. Um, it's page 389, and this is a recipe that I had overlooked for a long period of time, and once I finally made it, I kind of became obsessed with it. Number one, because it tastes delicious. Number two, because it melts perfectly on top of hot chocolate. If you like marshmallows in your hot chocolate, it melts and leaves that creamy, foamy layer of marshmallow cream on top. So good. Third reason I love it is because it is an ultra, ultra fuel pool. It's basically just gelatin, sweetener, salt, vanilla, water, and protein powder. So it's ultra, ultra fuel pool. And the, a, a fourth reason is because you can make it flavored with the new flavored protein powders. You can have strawberry um, marshmallows, you can have chocolate marshmallows, you can have cookies and cream marshmallows. I mean, you could even have chocolate peanut butter marshmallows if you wanted. There's so many different options and flavor profiles that you can go for. But today I'm just gonna make the plain uh, vanilla marshmallows that just go with anything. All right, so already here in my um, bowl, I have the gentle sweet and I have a little bit of xanthan gum and salt and vanilla. I think that's all that I have in there. And then I have my water that I have just um, just taken off the boil here. Well, first of all, let me show you this. You are supposed to bloom your gelatin before you add it. Um, so I have half a cup of water right here. And I'm gonna take my two tablespoons of gelatin and kind of sprinkle it on top of the water. Then you just want to stir it um, till it's blended real good. So use a fork or a little whisk or whatever, whatever you have to blend it up together. Okay. All right. So you're gonna let that set just for a minute. Then I have my water that's just off the boil here. So I'm gonna measure out one cup of water, and I'm just gonna pour it in this little dish. The reason, oops, <laughs> the reason I'm pouring it in the dish like that is so that I can one-handedly add it while I'm mixing with the mixer. So, I have this. Um, I have already have my um, sweetener and things here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my gelatin mixture into here. Then I'm going to start mixing, and as I start mixing, I'm going to slowly add this hot, hot water and I'm gonna keep mixing and beating until this becomes a very fluffy, marshmallow-like mixture. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's starting to get thick and kind of marshmallow fluffy like so now I'm going to add the scoop of protein powder and then mix for a little bit longer Okay, so I have mixed it really well, and this is about what it should look like. Um, it's not super, super thick, but you can see it's kind of like a marshmallow cream or marshmallow fluff. That's about the consistency it should be. Now I think in the book it says you should pour it into parchment paper into a nine by 13 pan, but I don't even use the parchment paper, and instead of a nine by 13, 
I use an eight by eight, and that way I have nice thick marshmallows that are about that thick instead of about that thick. So just pour it straight. I don't grease it or anything. They come out fine. You don't need to add anything extra. I just pour it right in there. And then I will put it in the refrigerator to chill until it hardens or firms up. That doesn't take very long, maybe half an hour or so. Now, if you wanted to make the flavored ones, just use flavored protein powder. Or you could also, if you don't have flavored protein powder, you could probably, now I haven't tried this, but you probably could take freeze dried strawberries and smash them really good like to a powder or strawberry powder. I think they make such a thing maybe on Amazon. I've never ordered it, but um, you could probably add that for strawberry marshmallows and for chocolate ones. You could just add a little bit of cocoa powder as well. And I have done that and that works well also. So that's another way you could get the flavored kind. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I will show you what it looks like whenever it's ready to go. <clears throat> okay, so we have the marshmallows finished here. Um, it only takes about half an hour for them to firm up in the refrigerator. So I've already cut them, as you can see, they're jiggly. Uh, and I cut them in four by four, so there's um, 16 of these marshmallows in, in this pan that you get per serving and they come out super easy. See, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you can see it's jiggly, kind of like marshmallow. Um, it melts in your mouth as you eat it. And like I said before, whenever you um, make hot chocolate with it, you put this on top of it and it just melts into this nice foamy marshmallowy layer on top of your hot chocolate. It's pretty much perfect. So make sure you try these. Again, this is not my own recipe, but it's from the First Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. So check that out. If you don't have the cookbook, you can Google it. And it's also on their main Facebook page. The recipe is there as well. And I can link it here in case you don't have their cookbook. But I hope you enjoy and love them as much as I do.